everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. In my last videos, a few of you asked me if I used makeup, if I wore makeup while I was here in Kansas because of the heat and because I'm working outside and all of that good stuff. And yes, I do. And I said, I'll do a very simple get ready with me and show you exactly what I use. I also wanted to take the opportunity and show you the powder foundation that I'm using. It may not be the best one that's on the market, but it's working well. I actually purchased it when I was in Florida because when you're in Florida and you and you go to South Florida, the makeup foundation just melts off your face. And any of you that are living in Florida, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And while I don't think that we have the humidity here in Kansas as we do in Florida, nevertheless, it's still hot. The only thing that I have on my face is my skincare, which you know these days is minimal, just a few things and I'm out and I'm done. I'm, I've cut down my skincare so much. For those of you that are new to my channel, I am 61 years old. I have two homes. I have one in Florida and one in Kansas. And in Kansas, we don't have the humidity that we do in Florida. I have a lot of skin issues. I have dark spots, which have gotten better throughout time. And I have my share of wrinkles and fine lines and everything else that comes with the wonderful age of 61. Anyway, the foundation that I'm going to use today is the one by Makeup Forever, and this is the Matte Velvet Skin. My shade is one that I, of course, I can't see. Don't you just hate when I do this? Oh my gosh. It's Y375. I saw Nisha did a review on this foundation. I'll leave the link to her video in case you want to see it. She did a great video as always, and she did the entire wear test, which I'm not going to do. She did have some issues, even though she has normal skin. She did, I, I believe she said that it, she started seeing some oily areas in some spots. It could be the weather. Uh, it could be a number of things. I don't have that problem with it. My only thing with this foundation, it's it's marketed as a full coverage. I don't think it's a full coverage as you'll see when I start applying it. You get a nice little mirror inside in case you want to do some touch up and it you get a, a sponge. This side is supposed to be white. But as you can see, it's very well loved and it's for the smoother side. And this black side is supposed to be for the uh, full coverage. I'm going to show you. I'll do one side and I'll uh, show you the comparison on them. You'll see that it really isn't a full coverage. But, you know, to wear here in, in, in the summer and in Kansas and Florida, wherever you are that you might have hot weather if you don't like to wear liquid foundations this may be something that you might want oh i said i was going to give you i was only going to do one side and i forgot see what happens when you when you hit this age so not only do i have all these issues i also am very forgetful but anyway you could i hope you can see it evens out i think it does a little bit of blurring but nothing over the top or anything like that. Um, I think it works fine. Just if you need something quick to run out the door, go to the store. If you need, um, you know, your shopping days or something. I don't think I would wear this for an evening out or anything like that. Um, but I think it has been working really well so. for what I want it to work for. And okay coverage. It evens out. And it does do a little bit of blurring. So anyway, that's it. That's all there is to it. There's nothing else. And basically it just lasts throughout the day, just like this. I think that for, if you don't want to spend a lot of time with your liquid foundation, this is a good alternative. I'm taking this highlight pencil from Sigma. I love this pencil. And I just apply this right over my eyes right over my eyes. I'm not applying it over my eyes. I am, I'm applying it right under my lash, my brows. My gosh, you see how long it's been since I've done a get ready with me? And I'm taking the Sigma P87. It has a triangular, I think I've talked to you about this before. I always use this for right under my brows. And then I just bring it out because my 
bra, my eyes are so incredibly hooded. For underneath my eyes, I always start with the Smashbox, and this is a hydrating primer. I love this stuff. Love this stuff. I think it was Natalie that recommended this one. Oh my goodness, this stuff really hydrates. And it helps with your concealer. I just, I just can't believe how well it works. Are you noticing that I cut off all my nails? Charlene, are you seeing? You know, I had such a hard time the last time that I had my nails done here. In my last video, I told you that one of them had broken. And then, like two or three days, the rest had broken. And I just said, I'm just not going to continue paying $50 every time I go to do my nails here in Kansas. And then it's two weeks later, I have no nails. Not to mention that I have to travel for an hour and a half. Okay, after I do that, I take... Whatever concealer is my favorite at the moment, at this time, it's the one from Giorgio Armani. And I always have some Derma 8, no, this is the wrong one. I always have some CeraVe, not Derma 8, uh, CeraVe eye cream. And what I do is I put a little bit on my hand. I always, always do this. It just seems to make the concealer go on a little creamier and it helps for it not to crease. And then I take my concealer and I apply a little bit right next to it. Not much. You don't need a whole lot or anything like that. Then I take my Zoeva brush, the 142. This is a concealer brush and it's a round brush. If you can see that. Sigma makes one of these as well that I have here. I, I just alternate between one and the other. What I'm doing right now is I'm just mixing the concealer and the under eye cream and I just go right under me and bring it down because I don't bring foundation all the way up and then I have a, this dark spot right here and if I don't fill that in it just makes my eyes look even more downward more droopy and more hooded and everything else all right, so you all need to tell me, oh, I'm going to just place a little bit up here. I don't know why, because I'm going, I'm going to add some primer up there, but that's okay. What are you all doing this summer? Are you enjoying it? My friends from, my teacher friends started already posting on Facebook about going shopping for Christmas, for Christmas, for school supplies. I'm taking some Smashbox 24 hour primer. I also have the one from Milani, either one. This was just the one that I grabbed and you just need a tiny little bit, especially if you have oily lids, this really helps. I don't, I don't know. My lids are getting oily lately and this just helps the eyeshadow last longer. So my teacher friends are posting on Facebook about the school supplies and how much, what they're getting, and because school starts in Florida in August, and I left them a comment. I said, "I'm not, I'm not shopping. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not shopping. I'm going to use the. This is the Viseart, the Neutral Mattes Palette. You could use, of course, any any matte palette that you like. Like I said, this is just really simple. I like this palette. It's easy and." I'm going to start off with my lid. First, I'm going to start off with this lighter shade right here. And I'm just to set everything that I have in there. And I'm, this is just the flat brush. Also, the brushes that I use are from Sigma. If you want to know, let me know. And I'll tell you what I used. And I just apply some of that light shade right on my lid. And I'm just going to take this brown right there. And I'm going to start at the outer V and bring it up. Oh, make sure I'm in focus. Otherwise, you know, it totally defeats the purpose. I'm just making a guide. I know it looks a little messy right now, but I'll fix it up.
and you could do this you know if you like a more rounded eye look you can do it that way I try to bring it out a little bit and I'm just gonna blend And you know, if you want to add some, some shimmer to your lids, you can certainly do that. But this is, this is just basically my everyday. Wow, it looks like I have a lot of concealer on and I really, really don't. You saw what minimal amount I added. And once again, because I have hooded eyes, I'm going to take a small, this is a small flat brush and I'm going to take some of that um, I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm just going to take a little bit of a darker brown shade and I'm going to fill in the outer V. Could you see it? Yeah. Now I'll take my blending brush. And I'll bring in whatever, whatever is left over. I'll just bring it in. This is basic. I know it seems to really a little bit longer now because I'm talking, but I really do this very quickly when I'm just getting ready to walk out the door. You know which one I've also used for this? Uh, I don't have it here in Kansas, but I have it in Florida, the one from Milani. I don't remember the name of it, but you probably know what I'm talking about. It's a, a very neutral palette, but you know, it's really whatever, whatever works for you, whatever you have on hand. And if you have hooded eyes, you could just do this and at least it'll lift them up a little bit. I'm going to go back into that dark brown and I'm going to connect what I did over here just to my bottom, my lower lash line. I'm going to take this peachy shade right here. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and kind of blend everything together just to eliminate any harsh lines that may be there. Also, if you go up too high with your shadow, this will help blend in. This is not really the best blending brush, but I made the mistake that I didn't bring all of my brushes with me. I went to the thrift store and there's a thrift store in town that's opened like, I don't know, on Fridays. That's it. And I'm walking around. I usually go on Fridays, take a walk, talk to the ladies there. I come across this aisle and it's supposed to be makeup stuff. Well, I'm not going to buy makeup at a thrift store, but they had the little bottles and I wish I had them here. I have them in the bathroom, the little bottles of the, um, Biofacial, you know what I'm talking about? The eye makeup remover from Lancome. Brand new, with the ticket, you know, clothes and everything for 50 cents. I bought them all. And I bought this mirror that I'm using when I finish. I'm going to show it to you. It's one of these um, folding mirrors. I got it for $1.50. And they said to me, it doesn't work. I said, okay. And I got home and I put on, I put in the, I put in the uh, batteries and it works perfectly fine. And it's got a 3X, a 5X, a regular, $1.50. I think they're like $20 on Amazon. Can't go wrong. I'm going to take some cheek to cheek blush from Charlotte Tilbury. Wrong brush, Marlene, wrong brush. This is in uh, Pillow Talk. Michelle gave me this and I love it. Now I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm just gonna use some CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Uh -huh, Stephanie was here and she says to me, What's, what's that mascara? I said, it's CoverGirl Exhibitionist. It's really good. I had just gotten it in. And she said, really? Are you kidding me, Mom? It's CoverGirl. I said, yeah, try it. Well, she went and she ordered a couple for herself, or ordered one or whatever it was. This is one of my favorites. It's Bound by NARS, and I have the full size, but I got this little one, and I figured, why not finish using it? And just to eliminate any powdery, I take some Fix Plus and then I take my beauty sponge and I just pat it all in. Pretty easy, right? 
And then if my hair was, I need to go down my hair too. <laughs> real life, ladies, real life. I washed it last night. And I didn't do a gosh darn thing to it. All right, so everything is probably different, but you know what? My camera died. I don't know what to tell you. I was editing like a happy camper. I was editing, I was gonna get this done. And the last, the closing was, did not record. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. That's my very easy and simple look that I use every day when, you know, just to go and get my things done. I really wanted to share with you the Makeup Forever powder foundation. I think it works exceptionally well. It lasts on me somewhere between eight and 10 hours. It looks exactly the same. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't go into any of my fine lines and wrinkles. The downside is that it is not a full coverage as I, I believe that's how they marketed that it's a full coverage. I don't think it is. As you can see, you could still see some of my, um, let me just bring you up closer or bring myself up closer. Yeah, you could still see my dark spots and on even skin tone, but I think that it does a good job just evening, evening it out as much as possible. And the best thing is that it doesn't melt away in this heat. Let me know if you tried any of these products or let me know what you use for your go-to look for every day in the summer. What do you, what do you use? I want to know. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.